guys. Happy weekend to you. Bill McMillan here with NDWX.com. And the story in the near term, at least, is the unseasonably warm conditions. Uh, let's see if we can uh, go straight to that and show you where we are from a departure from average standpoint. We're recording this after 5 o'clock, but this is the 4 o'clock uh, temperature reading anomaly throughout the country. And just look at the widespread, I mean, the entire country, with the exception of the far southwest, is above normal and way above normal for the eastern half of the country. Just a remarkably warm pattern continues. Overall, guys, it's not going to change. We're going to have some shots of uh, cold air and potentially some wintry conditions to contend with as we go through the second half of December, as we've been talking about. But it's really not until we get to mid Oh, probably after January 10th or so on into February and March, and it may continue to rumble into the early spring as well. We think we've got a lot of winter on the table. It's going to take some time, though, to get there. Uh, let's take a look, guys, really quick, going back to the satellite. We'll show our developing storm system. We're going to contend with quite a bit of cloudiness as we go through the weekend, but it's not going to... Um, you know, put much of a lid on temperatures as we go for near record warmth, both Saturday and Sunday, the way we see things now. We're going to have maybe a few showers to contend with late tonight and Saturday. These will be quick and light passing showers. Um, and it's really not, though, until we get to late uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, before we start dealing with more widespread rain of significance. This is valid 1 a.m. Monday morning. So the majority of the weekend, at least, is going to be dry. We'll contend with a couple of passing showers. Not a huge deal, though. The big story, again, unseasonably warm conditions. Now, we've got a situation coming up next week, at least, where some cold air will get involved in the weather pattern as we go into the mid and the latter part of next week. Uh, still not sure how we're going to handle things with the disturbance moving out of the uh, southern branch late next week. Models will continue to provide solutions that will vary quite uh, uh, large from one run to the other. Uh, but the overall theme uh, remains the same in that we think we turn colder and stormy uh, as we go closer and closer to Christmas. We're not saying the cold air and the wintry conditions are locking in here yet. And, uh, and in fact, we would say the opposite. It's not until we get later in January and February where we start seeing more sustained wintry conditions, at least the way we see things panning out right now. Taking a look at the latest teleconnections here off the 12Z run, uh, very good consensus and a uh, dip negative in the NAO and the AO coming up mid-month. That will correlate with that colder and potentially wintry uh, weather. But uh, we're going to go back positive late month. And uh, the same can be said here, too, for the uh, Arctic Oscillation uh, as it goes negative and then trends positive late month. Uh, finally, the PNA staying predominantly negative, and that's a warm signal across the east. So, yes, we are going to contend with a, uh, a colder and potentially wintry uh, time of things briefly uh, around Christmas, give or take a few days. Uh, but it's not locking in here yet. Um, we still think we're in a predominantly warm weather pattern into early January before we begin to th uh, see things evolve more towards a uh, cold and uh, potentially snowy regime as we go into mid and late winter. Nothing's changed at all with our winter outlook. We feel very confident on where we stand with that. Be sure to check that out over at NDWX.com as well. Guys, that will do it. I believe it was a quick update here. Yep, just uh, wanted to, to get this posted for you before we go into the weekend. Have a great weekend. We'll talk with you soon on NDWX.com.